It is, who is it? It's Miss Karen. We are working on our alphabet. Oh my gosh, we are almost done. Can you believe that? We started out with A, and we've done B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, and we have another one today that's coming up the coconut tree. I wonder who's going to be. Who comes after the letter T? You. Oops. You comes up the coconut tree today. So I'm, things are not behaving the way they normally do. Here we go. So here comes you up the coconut tree. Let's get started. So, okay, first off, you is for umbrella. It's pretty easy to do. It's just like it's a giant horseshoe, okay? Some of you know what horseshoes are. Some of you might not. You can find them, I bet, in a book somewhere. But a U, you just come down and you make a big old hook and around. Pretty easy peasy. Now, you know, as we color these, we like to think of some words that will start with the letter U. And letter U is going to be hard. Um, there's a lot of words that start with U, like umbrella. And umbrella is very important, especially, you know, if it's raining really hard. Um, which is something we don't get a lot of here in Nevada, but you know, you get in the Midwest and you get afternoon rain showers almost like clockwork. So let's work on the letter U and finding our U's. Okay, and think of some words that start with the letter U. Okay, so there's a U. There's a Z. There's a U. How about, uh, so umbrella. Okay, W. Here's another U. Here's something we're not seeing right now because there's no live sports. An umpire. They're the people that like uh, behind the pitcher's plate when the ball comes in and they go strike or ball. Okay. Now, umpires are actually on the field during football too. So Y, G, E. So another U. Uh, how about uh, maybe upset? You know, sometimes you get upset, you know, when you don't get what you want. But, you know, can't have everything we want all the time. H, N, U. How about, um, maybe under. Like, does your kitty cat or puppy dog like to get under the table or something? Maybe you like to climb under the table. D, I think I did G, U. Okay, some of you might be wearing some big kid pants which are called underwear. Underwear starts with a U. There's the F, the M, here's another U. Uh, how about underneath? Okay. M, L, B, V, J. There's a U. How about up? Like to get up. Up, Mom. Up, Dad. Up. Up, Pup. Here's another you. Oh my gosh, there's a whole bunch here. Um, uh, uh, uncle starts with the letter U. So that would be like your mom or dad. Their brother or sister. Sorry, their brother would be your uncle. Confusing. K, D, C. There's another U. Um, let me think about this. Uh, how about unicorn? Unicorn starts with a U. I think. Yes. I, H, X. Color my umbrella handle. G, I. Oh, here's another one. Um, it's another U. Okay, we said up. What about upside down? <gasps> That's all like one word. Upside down. F. And here's another new, another U. What's what's another U? Um, what about some of you may have seen in a book how we have trains that run on the tracks through the countryside, but we also have trains that run underground. Those are called subways. Underground is a U word. Okay, so our letter U. I think we got them all. Let's count them. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so how do we make a 12? Okay, that's a 1, okay, a 1, and a 2. And we've been working a little bit on some of our numbers as we've been doing some of these uh, letters the last couple of weeks. Okay, so 12. How much is 12? How many fingers are here? 5. How many fingers are here? 5. What's 5 and 5? Count your fingers if you can't figure it out. Hmm? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so 10 fingers. We have 10 toes too. So what if we need to count past 10? Well, we just remember this is 10. Okay, and we go 1, 2. So we add another 2 fingers. So we had 10. Now what comes after 10? 11, 12. There you go. Okay, what's next here? Oh, some more words. Letter recognition. Let's see, we've got to put our name on our page. That way teachers know who to give it back to and know who to give a star to. So these words start with the letter U. Fill in the letter on the line and then color the pictures. Okay, so U is for umbrella. Okay, I don't want to color a black umbrella. Let's color this umbrella orange. I think the other one was purple. Okay. U is for umpire. Remember, these are the people that would be sitting behind the plate. And they're usually mostly dressed in black or sometimes the, the football ones, sometimes called referees, they'll be dressed in black and white. Their shirt might be have black and white stripes on it. Almost looks like a jailbird. And U is for unicorn. So okay, this unicorn, he needs like a pretty purple horn. And maybe he's a, a pretty purple mane. And then maybe he's got... You know, orange bridle here. I think that's what that would be. No, it's not a bridle. It'll come to me. Okay, so U is for umbrella. So I remember U looks like a horseshoe, just hoops and around. And now we got. <gasps> I bet you guys don't even know who this is. This is actually somebody. Okay. I'll tell you. But let's find our numbers first. So this is a connect the dot. Okay, so connect the dots are numbers. They can also be connect the letters. So let's see what this dinosaur has. This dinosaur has a name. I'll tell you in a minute, but let's find number one first. Oh, there's one. Okay, so we connect our dots. Looks like they kind of go this way. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16. Whoo, we made some big numbers today. Let's see, let's color maybe blue. Maybe make this blue and yellow. Okay, I think this is kind of an interesting umbrella. So, what do umbrellas do again? Remember? Why do we have an umbrella? What are these little things falling down here? Let me color them so you can see them better. Bloop, 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 bloop. Well, there's a, a whole bunch of bloops that landed on the ground. That's one big splash. Okay, so why do we need an umbrella? What? What does it help us do? What does it protect us from? Yeah, it protects us from the rain. So if it's raining a whole bunch, you know, we'll get our umbrella and we'll open it up and we put it over our head and it'll help keep us dry. Now, if it's just a few drops, like sometimes we only get a few drops here in Nevada. Yeah, it's not really worth opening umbrella. It might get a little wet, but you know, we dry off. But yeah, if you go to Florida, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Missouri, Idaho, Illinois, you want to make sure you have an umbrella packed in your suitcase, or at least a raincoat, to keep the, the heavy, generally afternoon rains that will come and go splash on your head. And you will have a very, very wet noggin. So now who, 
who did I say this could possibly be? Some of you maybe might know him. Uh, some of you may not. I mean, yes, he's a dinosaur. But he's a big purple dinosaur. And he's got his own, like, little cartoons. And his own, uh, like, book and stuffies. Oops, where's his tail? There's his tail. And, oh my gosh, his name just left me. Oh! <gasps> I'm sitting here talking to him, the big purple dinosaur. Um, no, Elmo's the, the Disney person. Um, and you got the Teletubbies. Uh, oh no, I forgot his name! Oh, I'm so bad! Barney! Barney the purple dinosaur! That's who this is. Oh my gosh, I was having a premature senior moment. Don't keep track of those. Okay, so we got Barney the purple dinosaur! He's really cute. Okay, so he has his umbrella and it's keeping the raindrops off him. And it looks like he's out for a little stroll today and he's having fun because he's got a big smile on his face. So that's our first part of the letter U. You know, I always do a second part of these, so make sure you watch the second part. I have a, a really cute craft with my paper plates where we make an umbrella. So be sure you find that after you go through and finish learning the letter U. Alright, go get a snack.